Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So, uh, this one's cool. This one's coming by way of Tyler over at Evolved EDC, and uh, he's sending me a couple prototypes to check out, and then I think I'm passing these on to uh, Jim, Jim Skelton, so... Uh, using the Urban EDC Supply or Urban EDC Monaco to open it. And uh, you guys have probably seen this a couple times lately. I really like this. Um, it's cool. Uh, we'll see long term, you know, if I like it better than the Baby Barlow. Baby Barlow is still here, going strong. <clears throat> so this is the Evolved EDC Rev Prototypes. And, sorry, I had some on my screen. Um, as you guys know, I reviewed the Sin. I actually ordered both versions of that. I really enjoyed that knife. Um, those are coming soon. And these are the new model, or this, I should say, is the new model. It is a button lock. It is done by Best Tech, as was the Sin. And, um, yeah, it's a really cool model. In my opinion, it looks sweet. Um, I don't know if there's any changes already set to be made. He told me, uh, I think he did say one of the things he wanted to change was the spring tension. Uh, he thought they were a little bit on the weaker side. He knew I was, <laughs> was going to probably bring that up, so I'm glad he mentioned it ahead of time. Um, we have two versions. We have a bead blasted titanium version with a uh, belt satin blade. Nice hollow grind, it feels like. Yeah, hollow grind there with a little fuller as well. Nice swedge up top. Interesting, interesting design. Um, yeah, this looks sweet. And again, you have that button lock here. Wow, yeah, I can see what he means it's a little bit loose but jesus um if there's not a lot of spring tension well we'll see that could just be good action this might be the first button lock that best tech has done to my knowledge dead centered this one has some gnarly looking milling i mean they both have the cool milling but this one has some crazy anno on it and then it has uh zerku tie i believe studs collars and clip and, uh, nope, not backspacer, but that's cool. Um, this thing's crazy. And then this one has the same blade. Nice hollow. Do the flats look any different? They do. So that's something he likes to do. Uh, Tyler likes to do is change up the flats a little bit. So like you'll see on this one, it has a sort of blasted area up here. And on the uh, pivot. And then on this one, it has a uh, horizontal satin up here. Same pivot. Crazy action on the clothes. Now, the moment of truth is the flick. Okay. So, yeah, I can fail it. Yeah, I would, yeah, I definitely see what he's saying. Like, it's not, you know, it's not, like, horrible or anything, but it definitely needs to be stronger. It's very easy on the tension. I could probably, yeah. It's bouncing when I do that, so. Uh, but that's why we prototype stuff, so if he asks for a stronger spring. Um... The design overall, I really like this design. I, I always have from the moment I saw it. You got that really nice choil worked in. Very comfortable handle back here. I mean, this is really comfortable. He has a good eye for design. Um, yeah, I, I dig that for sure. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, the Christensen Maverick S in it. Um Kind of blade-wise, I get No, not even. Um, but just overall, it kind of gives a little bit of that vibe, which I love that knife. So that is 100% a positive. 
I wonder how this button, you know, not being recessed and being more centralized is going to play a part. Like if you're, you know, if you're bearing down on it, like right here, my finger is like on top of the button. So I just depressed it right there. I don't know if I would ever do that on purpose, but left-handed, you know, kind of pushed it a little bit there. I can obviously do that real easy, but I'm really trying to at that point. But when I'm in the choil grip left-handed, I'm literally coming down with the meat of my finger right on top of that. But I'm squeezing, and I have to literally lay it flat. Even then, I mean, I can't. Yeah, so it's kind of like the brown knives. It's kind of like the FSD where people, you know, complained about the button on this. And it's almost like you have to be looking to disengage. You have to be, like, trying to disengage it. You know what I mean? To have it happen. And in natural grips, at least for me, it never does. So this is kind of a similar thing. Would I like it to be recessed into some kind of a pocket and be more like back here? Yeah, I think so, but um, I haven't tried flicking it out of the fuller, so I didn't even notice that. Okay, that works really well. Yeah, that that's the move right there. Um, hmm. So one thing that sticks out to me is the blade to handle ratio. You can see um, it all looks good here i love this angling right here but up here i want this high like i want more of it in the handle but when it's open i thought looking at the pictures and everything i thought i would think the blade to handle ratio looks off but it really doesn't it looks fine open so therefore it doesn't really bother me when it's closed you know that can let's take it or leave it they did a really good job knocking everything down so that's actually fine Reverse flick is good. I think with a bit of a stronger spring, uh, this is going to be a really good... I mean, it's already a great flicker. Um, I'm not going to lie. I hate these studs. I really don't like these. Um, they're kind of hard for me to... And maybe it's because of the spring tension. But like you can see there, I kind of want to just slide right over, over them. And then because of the softer spring, it's kind of easy to just you know kind of pop it out. Now, with that said, you can get underneath them. Um, you know, I like the idea of having designer studs. Like, that's cool. But I don't like the shape of these, really. I don't really like how they... I don't know. It might be easier to tell once the production version's in my hand. But the fuller's great, so I don't know. Like, you can't really get rid of the studs. Because, I don't know, does that add... A look to it like could you just put a hole there or no could you get rid of it and just have the fuller i mean the fuller works great but i guess you're thinking thumb flick yeah it would be really yeah it wouldn't work so i don't know i think i would go to more traditional thumb studs but that's just me that's my suggestion here um but the fuller's great so it's almost like they're just aesthetic which i guess is fine right um, if you're just going to use that for, I'm just going to mostly do reverse flicks with the fuller, you know, and then occasionally try to thumb flick, but that's where I'm having trouble is, you know, with the stud on the flick, but I think a stronger detent would help too. Let me feel this one out. Eh, it's similar. It's a little bit stronger, I think. Uh, as for the button in terms of like stick and whatnot, um, it's, there is some, but it's not like, it's not nearly even close to what you get with like a Protec. This one doesn't really have any. I'm going to see what happens if I tighten this up. Hopefully he doesn't mind. Let's see, make sure it's T8. Yep. Eh, might be a 10. Let me just double check. Yep, T10. Okay, that tightened down. <laughs> There's barely any up and down. Just try to get it. There, no play. Still swings. This one's rock solid. 
both up and down and side to side. That's kind of the tricky thing with um, button locks is they, it almost seems like knife to knife varies a lot, but I guess so does detent on knives. So it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, see, I'm having better luck with this one. I think the spring is slightly stronger. So possibly stronger spring would mean these buttons would work or studs would work better. But I just don't like how they're angled out that way. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. But I don't know. I also just haven't played with it a lot. Another thing I don't love about the studs. And again, this is all unboxing stuff, guys. So stay tuned for a full review, obviously. This is fucking gorgeous, man. Really love that. Uh, I don't love the uh, screw in the stud. Like, this one looks sick, right? So you got, like, your show side with the stud, you know? And then on this side, you get a screw. And it's kind of weird that the pivot is on this side, right? Wouldn't you want to have the show side clean pivot on this side? So that would be something I would probably consider doing. And if you're going to do that, where this is clean and that's clean... Make Put the button over here. Make it a lefty button lock. Um, and then you'd have this whole side just clean. That would be pretty cool. But I don't know. I'm just talking. This is sick. Yeah, this is nice. I really like it. Man, these ergos are excellent. These are excellent ergonomics. This grind is beautiful. That hollow is sick. Nice and thin. Yeah, it's razor sharp. Look at that milling. Let me zoom in on this just to get you a good eye at it. Look at that. Is it like... I guess it's... It almost looks coppery, but it, I guess it's like a purpley pink, you know, so it's a pvd handle, and then they, I guess, I don't know if they covered this before PVDing or if they scratched it all out. You know what I mean. And then they anodized it inside. I mean, it's freaking cool. Uh, I wonder how expensive this is going to be, but um, it's really nice. There is going to be a Blue Creek Knives exclusive version. It's like a blue anodized tie version, I think. So, um, yeah, as long as Best Tech dials that spring up a little bit. Um, another thing I would consider is you could even do it where you don't dial the spring up. And then you, you could ask Brian over at Winterblade if you could have them install his magnetic detent down here. And you, like, that should be on everything with like light detents. You know, axis locks, shark locks, button locks. They should just put the magnetic detent in it. And then, I mean, it would solve all the problems, basically. Um, I don't know. But yeah, this is fantastic. Should we do a spine whack test? Like a light one? Oops. That was, I mean, I wasn't whacking too soft, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going crazy here. Yeah, no failing. Maybe if I whacked it really hard, it would have felt failed a little bit, but I don't think so. It feels really solid. Lockup's good. Um, I think they did a good job on this. I mean, it's their first button lock, or one of their first, and it's very well executing. I mean, it's rock solid, seriously. You have a stop pin here and a stop. I don't know why you have double stops. Let me see. Okay, so that one's for the top of the blade, or the closed position, and this one's... For the open interesting usually they're the same but i guess because of the button lock and the way yeah so i really like it so i would say this is fantastic uh i really really like it and my only sort of nitpicks with it so far are the spring which is going to be addressed he already told me that it's going to be addressed um the studs yeah, I don't love the studs. Visually, they're cool, for sure. Um, don't love this side because of the screw there. I don't know how you get around that. but um, And functionally, I'm not in love with, with how they feel. But the fuller is fantastic. Really, really good. Um, and then the only other thing I don't love is the, the blade to handle closed. But it's kind of an, 
necessary evil situation with button lock, so I can't really hold it against them. Um, the clip, we will see. Um, it feels pretty good. Don't feel any sharp points or anything like that. Feels really nice. Contoured. Uh, not contoured, but it's sculpted for the handle. We'll see how it functions, being that it's on the side. I don't love clips that are on the side, but I like that he did it here because it gives you the deepest carry. If he had done it here, you would have had, you know, a little bit more sticking out. As of right now, you have, you know, normal amount of knife sticking out, which is perfectly fine. So that is the uh, Evolved EDC Rev. And uh, these are the prototypes. These are really good. Shout out to Tyler. Thank you for letting me check these out, dude. Uh, these are really freaking cool. Um, the patterning and everything is, I really, I mean, this is unique. I haven't seen a knife with this kind of pattern on it. I mean, the Rosie has the radial pattern, but, you know, this is different than that. Um, and then you add this beautiful choil. Ergos are really, really good on this. Um, the Ergos are fantastic on this knife. Um, right-handed, yeah, almost better right-handed because lefty, you got this clip here. Here's a look at that Zerku tie. So, yeah, shout out to Tyler. Thanks, dude. Uh, I will get a, a full review up on these bad boys, and then uh, I'll get these off to Jim to check out. And, uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck with this project. I think this is sick. We don't have a lot of premium button locks out there for people to buy. So hopefully this one's popular for that reason. Plus it's a sick design. I mean, for me, it's kind of like the perfect button lock design. Um, so yeah. All right, cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. First kind of peek at this. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later